we interrupt Simon Amstel's arranged marriage to bring you a news update. Benji Cornflakes, repressed son of one Priscilla Cornflakes, was kidnapped last week under cover of night. His mother, a staunch Protestant woman, has the following message for the weak individuals who nicked her sprog. Where are you, Benji? I ask myself that question every morning before I exterminate another 15 millipedes. But Benji not smelly like millipede. Benji good boy! Single mothers. Single mothers. <sighs> Walter. Walter, come on, man, wake up. It's noon. What do you want? It's been a year, man. We need to do some laundry. I'll be down in a minute. Just don't touch my laundry. Lad, it's literally all your laundry. Then don't touch anything. I've got to move the bags. I can't get downstairs. That's not mine. You must be tripping, brother. You're the one sipping petrol. You're the one who says you're the one t uh, too much. But I am the one, aren't I? That's why we started this pub, man. It's because we had stuff in common. Like the rapper? There was no rift between us then. But the years have done their damage, haven't they? Every day's a struggle. But you know, life's got to carry on, man. It must. You gotta lie up, man. I thought you quit smoking. Are you mad? No, I'm liberal. Mate, if you're liberal, what's Graham Norton? Goddamn national treasure. It's a fucking saint, man. Now let's get out of here. Moran, you're talking crap. I, I, I don't know, it's just something that came into my head. It's your brain, man. Your brain, man. It's not a pain, man. Move the fucking bags. How many times have I told you, man, don't leave the TV on, it costs money. I don't watch BBC Three. You jam the telly with your nub when you're drunk. I don't know who gave you Alan Carr's question cards, but yeah, I, s I suppose that's what happened. Who's watching Father Ted? Uh, excuse me. What are you doing in my house, man? Uh, I'm Dylan Morn. For legal reasons, I can't actually say I'm here. It's called consent, Joe. I am not a girl. Look, man, I liked your early stand-up, but I don't want you in my home. Homes are strange things, aren't they? Some people think of homes uh, being theirs. But it's quite different on the planet. Uh, this guy is inebriated. I am sober, actually. Uh, because you're drunk, you think I'm drunk. I find that hypocritical. Have you read Don DeLillo by any chance? How'd you get in here, man? I've always been here. Like the paint on the walls and what shit paint it Dude, is. why don't we call Carl? He's got a big gun gun and I'm talking about the gun. Lad, you don't just kill Irish comedians the eternal. What, like Common? Exactly like Common, man. Why don't you leave here and smell the saucers? Oh no. What's this desert bullshit? Oh mate, he's come finally. I don't want semen on my trousers. Look at them, covered in sand. There's nothing but sand for miles. Be quiet, man. I'm thinking. What is there to think about? Years ago, I made an enemy of Dylan Moran. When the sands of time passed into eternity, I gave him a gift. A rift gift. <laughs> oh, Christ. Exactly, man. Christ. That's what we're dealing with. Do you know there are Christians who think Christ betrayed Judas, and that Judas is the real Christ figure? Joe, you gotta- I, I watched Channel 4 and Pornhub. There's no difference, man. Uh, one of them doesn't have positive role models for women. Grand. So. You remember what he said? Shane Diesel doesn't have the biggest vocabulary. No, Dylan Morin, try to remember! Why don't you leave here and smell the saucers, and don't recall my words like Dostoevsky would, you cunt. He said, smell the sauces. Gosh, look at this shit everywhere. All these little balls. Oh, Walter, you're a fucking genius. I'm, I'm a genius? But what are you, attractive? Oh, you must stop pushing me, man. Yeah, that's right, eat that sand. Stop, he wants us to fight. Hey, why don't you share your philosophy with Netanyahu? I'm sure he'd love Scarabia it. Scarabia saucer is Latin for scarab. Smell a scarab. God, dementia's sad. Oh, look, man, there's one right there. Oh, call me you little bastard. Get Kevin Spacey on the line and do it proper. Mate, if you're gonna be unhelpful, just fuck off seriously, man. Fine! I will! <laughs> if there's a god, I could do with a hat. Behold my hat. What the? Oh my god! I've got a hat! Hey, Joe! I just found out God's real! I don't care, man. Help me get this scarab. <laughs> I find God, and you don't give a shit. That's fucking typical. You're as bad as O.J. Simpson. At least he's got entertainment value. He should have gotten a Golden Globe for Capricorn 1, I'm telling you. Mike, they've cancelled the Golden Globes. You didn't know that. Are you... Is nothing sacred? Oh, I've got it. <laughs> oh, it smells like poo, man. Now we can dehydrate like Peter Capaldi. I think it's working. Captain Kirk, sniff some shit. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
it worked. Oh, Dylan, I solved your riddle. I was just watching the IT crowd on Channel 4. It's much better than this show. You sure you don't read Don DeLillo? I said I solved your riddle. I heard you. I just don't care. I've beaten you, man. For legal reasons, I can't actually say I'm here. But of course I am. Meaning I'm not. Do you want me to call the police, man? J Joe, please don't. There's the, the, the case with the thing. It's, it's, it's ongoing. And uh, what about you, monkey man? You're somewhat daft. What did you just say to me? Leave it, mate. You should look at the bags under your eyes. Joe, do you know any nice people? Like normal people? Look at the bags under you. The laundry! He's talking about the bin bags! Oh, there's a letter in every bag. Christ, it's like Chinese domestic policy. What, really incredible? No, fucking stupid. You're so stupid. Right, let's rearrange them. Oh, look at that. It spells Buckaroo's house. That's the fucking problem. Why is that? Oh, you gave him a blowjob, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, after you tricked him. When I was in Syria, you had to make those kinds of deals every day. All right, let's go. Let's get this over with. You're not actually going. That's like Bill Burr going to Miranda Hart's for dinner. It's fucking backward. It's the only way to defeat Dylan Moran. Well, uh, it's your job. Benji, take care of the bar, will you? I'm in the bathroom. What's this child doing in my pub? He's part-time. Leave him alone. Mate, he's four. I've seen my daddy's willing. Oh, he's not talking about you, is he? Nah, man, it's all kosher. He's got a contract and everything. <sighs> all right, fuck it. Let's go. Benji, if you cock this up, I'm going to kill you, all right? What's the funny man doing? Therapy, Benji. And don't touch those photos, or I'll be back to get ya. I cannot believe you broke the door down. I tripped. I suppose the people driving those planes into the World Trade Center were tripping. You can say that. It's not gonna change anything. It's still a national tragedy. That's an oddly sobering comment. Fuck a body! <sighs> That's more like a... Oh my god. Mate, it's Dylan Moran? I thought he was indestructible. Like Common. You told me he was just like Common. He is? It doesn't make any sense. It's like the Biden administration. God, will you shut up, man? Hello. I'm dead now. But you're Dylan Moran? You're indestructible? I just made this happen. I lured you here because I thought it'd be funny. Oh, no, man. Buckaroo's a good man. He made me dead. So now I'm going to live amongst the stars. Hopefully, Don DeLillo's up there. But he's still publishing books. He's alive. Monkey Man, you know how to ruin people's days, don't you? Mate, I've got to live with him. I guess that's uh, punishment enough. Anyway, I I'm off now. So don't do anything I wouldn't like being alive. The universe is really big, but it's all about love. You know, love is really important. Is he delirious? No, I'm sober. So fuck off. Anyway, goodbye, Joe. I don't love you. Did something really profound just happen? Oh, my back hurts. You're sitting on Venezuela? I'm not surprised. What? <laughs> Water! You come back! I'm not Walter, man. He's Walter. Hey, man, this man is lying through his teeth. You heard it from me. Buckaroo has good idea. Buckaroo wants both. No! no. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you breaking news. Benji Cornflakes, the unfortunate son of Priscilla Cornflakes of Preston, was found last night covered in excrement and what appeared to be a beard belonging to another man attached to his nether regions. Priscilla Cornflakes had the following message for the country. I'm so happy to have Benji back. It's just a reminder that dreams come true when you've got a cousin in the cabinet who can affect policy negatively. Uh, oh, uh, hold up. I think Benji wants to say something. You love your mommy, don't you? Buckle or get lucky. Single mothers. Single mothers. Single mothers. Single mothers, single mothers and their brothers.